Hi, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and I have another review on a product that us guys are going to be a little more interested in. Um, Uncle Smith's Garage. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe that's who sells them and that's who sent it to me. But this is a battery operated air compressor. Now this is going to come in handy. Especially around here when I'm always trying to get somebody's machine in my shop and the tires are flat and and I believe I read, I, I looked online, because obviously I haven't opened this yet. I read online, it, I'm pretty sure it said, it will hold a charge, like if you just carry this in your trunk, when you have to blow up a tire, for two years. Uh, it has... Seven preset modes. You can use it as a power bank, high pressure pump, a high volume pump, auto stop, and a hundred, a hundred, a thousand lumens LED light. I gotta actually, I gotta actually rip this bad boy open to get into it. So I guess you can tell I didn't have a chance to play with it first. Pretty well packed. It's got foam on the, on the sides to help protect it. It's inside of a plastic, because when UPS drops this stuff off, folks, they don't care if it's raining, snowing, or whatever it's doing outside. They just throw this thing by your door. So it, it comes all sealed up in a nice, heavy plastic bag. That's my bad shoulder. And it comes in a, I don't know, what do you want to call it? A pouch of protective carrying case. Very nice. Now it's packed with more foam. Apparently they know how FedEx handles their boxes. <laughs> Here's a foam piece up here. They give you the correct cube for charging the unit. 45 watts. Boy, you plug that into your telephone, your phone, that ought to charge it up in a heartbeat. You get your charging cable and this is the the style that locks onto your tire. More foam. More foam again. And the unit. And all of the instructions. Oh goodness, now they fit into a separate little pouch back here. So when you drop your thing back in there, it doesn't squish your directions. Quick reference. Well, I don't know anything about this, so I guess we're gonna find out at the same time. Maybe I ought to shut the camera off and try to figure this thing out. You've got some more fittings back here. There's three more here for, this one's for like a basketball. This one is just a, a pointed 
Let me get something behind it it's for blowing up uh, probably like beach balls or one of these, the old style rafts they used to have. And a smaller fitting that goes on the hose that you could screw onto the tire. I don't like them because it takes you so long to get them unscrewed, you lost most of your air. Now the hose wraps right around here. I did see that. That's about three feet maybe. And these little ends screw in onto it. I guess maybe I'll have to go get a tire so we can try this thing out. Oh, hey, we figured out how to turn it on. Start and pause. It, this ring around here is actually four buttons. Here's, here's the light. It's supposed to have different modes. Oh, that's bright. That's a strobe. And this is SOS. So you could set that on the roof of your car. I think most people today wouldn't know what an SOS distress is. I think the strobe would do better than uh, the SOS. Now you can set this. Oh, batteries are fully charged. Cool. You can turn this dial. It's on seven and a half pounds. You can turn this to get whatever you want as far as pressure. I'm going to have to check, check that because I know it goes up higher than 16 pounds. Maybe it has to be running. mode. Oh, I was in ball mode. That's why it wouldn't go up. Got a mode here. Shows all different kind of stuff. We keep pushing this. There's car. There's truck. And next one is a camper. So now we're up 35 pounds. 46, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 PSI. I guess that ought to pump your tires up. Well, let's go back to basketball mode because the tires on a snapper usually don't hold any more than 16 pounds. I guess that's how you turn the pump on. Now, it has a high pressure hose and it has another hose that snaps in here and stretchy. It plugs into inflate. You push it in and turn it and it locks so it don't come out. And it has deflate. Now, how many times have you went to the beach, you blew up your nice little raft or the inner tubes for the kids, beach balls. Okay, now how do you get the air out of them so you can get them back home? This thing is set up. You put that little pointed end on. It, it came off of the unit with, uh, with it already on there. You put that on there and the end is solid. It sucks the air from the sides. So when you push this into your raft, it has that little valve in there. It'll push that valve open, go past it, and it will vacuum all the air out of your raft so you can get this stuff back in your car without taking it home inflated. Nice. Nice idea for that. That just tucks right in here. So
So, let me pause this thing and I'll go get a tire and <laughs> let the air out of it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I went, grabbed one of my snapper tires and I let the air out of it. And we're going to blow it up with this. Now, this is kind of noisy, so if you've got air, your little earbuds in or headphones, you might want to take them off. Now, the only thing, I've been kind of looking at this, the only thing I can see that I would change is somewhere to store this right angled nozzle for inflating the tires. They've got a spot back here for these. And again, this one is for basketballs. This one is for beach balls or air mattress. Um, this one, I believe, is a European fitting because I'll turn this thing on. You have different settings on here as far as air pressure readings. Um, down here it says units. Let's put this on bicycle. PSI, pounds per square inch. In the U.S., that's what we use and some other countries. I don't know which ones. But then it has a unit you can push. And it has KPA. I have no idea what country uses that. But it does change from, let's go back to... PSI is set as 145 pounds per square inch. If I push this mode and change it to KPA, it changes 145 to 1,000. Now if I push it again, that's bars. That's more like Germany. Uh, we got a lot of German machines at the shop, and the... Uh, hydraulic system on it is in bars not psi and it's 10 bars is for the same as 145 pounds we'll go back to psi but I, I again the only thing i can see that i would change on this is a place to store this right angled fitting other than just on the end of the hose. Now when you put this on the hose or any of the other fittings that come with it, you don't need two pairs of pliers to tighten this thing up. It has a rubber o-ring in there and all you need is finger tight. Once you feel it a little resistance, you're hitting the o-ring. And another quarter to a half a turn is all you need to tighten this up. Now, like I said, this is a little noisy. I'm going to lock this on the tire. This is a style, that's what this little lever is for. You push down on that, it locks it to the tire. Now, if you get a little more air than what you want, it has a relief button that will let some air out of the tire. So we're going to stick this on here. Let me turn this so I can hook it on a little easier. It's locked on. Now, you could blow this up in any mode you want because you set this up here. I don't know if you can see that. Arr. It's at 145 pounds. That's a bicycle mode. Now, that's as high as it'll go. But you can turn it down. Even though it's in a, a different mode, I can go down to, this thing wants 20, 28 pounds. You can turn this all the way down to 10 pounds. But here's all the different modes. You have a bicycle. You have just air. It'll go all the way up to 160 PSI. And it'll go all the way down to 
three pounds. So you could use that mode for anything as long as you put it on 28. Now this dial does not have what you would call a preset. Like each little bit you turn it, some have it either be five pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds. You can't dial it in exactly what you want. This one you can. You can dial that into exactly 28 pounds or 28.5 pounds, whatever you want to use. We'll go back into modes and we'll see what ball does. That only goes up to 16 pounds, so that ain't quite going to do it. We'll go to the car. The car goes up to 50 PSI. We're going to turn it down to 28. What this thing is, tire is supposed to have. And we're going to push start. Now this is a little noisy. So let's see how long it takes to blow this little tire up. As you can see, as it was going around, it was going slower and slower. That's so it doesn't overinflate. My valve must be leaking a little bit down here. I think I can hear it. I'll pop that off. It does a nice job. It turns off exactly when it's supposed to. You have a quick reference guide. You have your user manual, and this is a Vortex S, as in Sam, 6 series air compressor. And this thing is quite informative. I'm certainly not going to read it to you. And you have your certification that it's been calibrated and it's working properly. On the tests that they ran, pressure tests, when it was set for 40 PSI, it kicked off at 39.7. Well, that's pretty darn close. 120 PSI, it kicked off at 119.6. Uh, permitted tolerances. 40 PSI, plus or minus 0.8 of a pound. 120 PSI, plus or minus 0.8 of a pound, or 8 tenths of a pound. Uh, very nice little unit. I don't know how long the battery would last if you're pumping up several tires. I'm going to take this off. I wish they had, a, the only thing I would change on this is I wish they had a place to store this right angled fitting that comes with it. Now this is a high pressure and a low pressure or high volume, what do they call it? It is a high pressure pump, which we just used, and it's a high volume pump for doing air mattresses and uh, 
stuff that you'd have at the beach. Now you could, we can plug this in. This is a twist lock. Now if you can see that. And we're gonna put it in the inflate. You, there's two pins in there that you slide this onto and you give it a twist and it locks it. I mean, you don't wanna have this thing blowing up your air mattress and popping out of here and letting all the air out. Now it has a fitting on the end that fits in the little valves that you're, you, you blow into. And all the new ones that are on the market today have a valve inside there that closes. So if your little plug pops out and you're out in the water, you don't lose all your air. This is made to push in there and open that valve to suck the air out. Now to put this thing on, we'll find the mode here. It looks like a little symbol for air blowing or the wind outside or a breeze. I would say that's what that is for. Now we'll start this up. It's going to be a little noisy again. Turn out quite a bit of air. Then again, you can untwist this and pull it out. Put it in the deflate mood mode. <laughs> That will suck all the air out of your mattresses or uh, if you have company coming over and you've got an air mattress in the basement that you blow up for them, this will blow it up and also take the air out of it. And it's got little spots in there where this ring around the end, I don't know if it get you can see that or not get something behind it there's a little ring that sticks out from the side of this that slides into a slot on here and locks it into place everything's self-contained except for this I wish they had a place for this I suppose you could just leave it on the end of the hose I mean this is probably what you're going to be using it the most for Anyway, that's what we're going to be using it the most for around here. Flip this little, flip this little lever up as if you're locking it onto your, your uh, tire. And I guess that's not bad. It don't really stick out in the way. It's easy enough to get it in the case. Comes with a nice carrying case. Hey, it's a nice little unit. When they contacted me and asked me if I wanted to look at this and uh, try it out, I said, sure. Uh, for what I do around here, I can really use a portable air pump. When I go out, I pick up and deliver the machines that I work on. And when I get to somebody's house and the tires are flat, I have to drag the thing up on my trailer with the winch. I had to put a winch on the front of my trailer just because I can't push them up there with four flat tires. Most all these lawnmowers are tubeless tires. And when they, the rims start to get bad, they all leak and they go flat. First thing I do when I get a, somebody's machine in the, in the shop to work on, unless they don't want me to, they want to put up with leaky tires. The first thing I do is I put tubes in the tires. Now I suppose you could just hang on to this cover. You can put your charging cube back in there in your, in your wire. And once you get this machine in here, you could put this back on top of it. And that would, that would keep everything, 
you'd have a place to put that little right angled air nozzle. Now most people, they probably won't even use this bag, but I'll probably keep it in the bag just because it's all self-contained. Everything's in there and it's a grab it and go product. Uh, right now, longevity, I don't know. I'll let you know as I use it. How long it will last, how long the battery, every battery has charging cycles. It'll only charge so many times. That's all just going to be down the road. You have to figure that out as I use it. And uh, I'll let you know. Again, before I close, I want to thank Eaton Wolf for sending me this. 12-volt uh, system that has a rechargeable battery built into it and it is a Vortex S6 series air compressor. They do have other styles or other uh, sizes. This one is the largest one they manufacture according to the Amazon website and they did send me a link that I will be putting on the description section of this video so you can go to it and find it a little easier on Amazon than just hunting and pecking and trying to find this thing. Uh, from what I can see right now, this is a great little unit that's gonna come in really handy around the fix-it shop. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. So long.